Davis has left his wing, showing good commitment, and he hacks the ball through, shows good control, and goes over for an opportunist try in the corner. Before half time, I think a good decision by Jonathan Davis because against the wind, he says no to Paul Corbin, and we see they take the short penalty. And it's a simple one. Booth just beats Jeremy Pew over five yards out. Nobody stops the, the prop from plowing his way over. And from the restart of the second half, we saw two scores which would have devastated most sides. And the first try came from clean ball from the scrum. And just watch Jonathan Davis use his electric pace. Goes outside his man, creates space for Paul Corbin. And a beautifully timed pass sends Elgin Reach shutting in in the corner for the try. And then a simple try for Neath. Good scrum, five metres from the New Dock Stars line. Watch Andrew Booth go on a decoy run, take the back row with him. But Mark Jones picks up. And who's there? His ever present partner, Lynn Jones, sets the pass. And that, at, at that point, New York Stars were down by 20 points, and we all thought that Neath would run away with the game. But they showed magnificent character, some great pride, and indeed they handled well. And it was only desperate defence on occasion that kept this plucky New York Stars out from scoring a try. And in the line out, they were outstanding with John Jenkins and Tony, and Tony Arzi completely dominating the game and winning some marvellous ball for the back to you. And with a minute ago, New Duff Stars are still battling away bravely. And as we can see, they win yet another line-out. And when they try to move the ball, again playing with adventure, it goes wrong in midfield, and the ball is dropped. And it's picked up gratefully by Richard Griffith. And with nobody in front of him, 40 metres to go, he strides away to score an excellent opportunist try for Neath to clinch the game.